Well, a new report says eating more insects could help fight world hunger and boost nutrition. The UN study finds that insects are nutritious with high protein, fat and mineral content. They are particularly important as a food supplement for undernourished children. Globally, more than 1,900 species of insects are eaten, mainly in Africa and Asia. In Cameroon, insects are ranging from termites and grasshopper to larvae of the palm weevil beetle are on offer. Many in the Cameroonian capital swear on the edible insects' benefits. I eat insects like these because they provide nutrition. They nourish the body. They are not too fatty but have lots of good ingredients. If you eat these all the time, you rarely get sick. So in the longer term, I think um, insects could also be eaten in Western countries. And why this would be good? Um, well, I mean, we know that the population is growing and there's going to be an increased demand for food and protein in general. And insects offer one option of providing this protein. And in Western cultures, where we have a huge problem of obesity and overweight, insects are a very nutritious element, element that could provide a healthy diet. And over 2 billion people worldwide already supplement their diet with insects. Maybe we'll try that for dinner tonight. Now let's go to Uganda, where a young woman has taken on the challenge to raise awareness against HIV AIDS. This is Barbara. She wants to challenge social stigma and educate her neighbors about HIV AIDS. I got pregnant, now it was too much on me. I just couldn't tell anyone, I couldn't tell my dad. And at that same time, I went to a clinic and that's when I found out I was HIV positive. 26-year-old Barbara was diagnosed with HIV in 2008. Talking about the virus in Uganda is not just rare. It is not accepted. As I was walking on the street of Kampala, I saw a group of people gathering. I took advantage of going there to see what is happening. Uh, I was touched when I found a pretty lady like Bara. She was uh, preaching ab about HIV AIDS. I was touched. Her journey has been a struggle. Barbara's parents separated when she was a baby. So she went to live with her grandmother. At only six years old, her uncles sexually abused her repeatedly. When she reached age 11, she got out and moved in with her dad and his new family in Kampala, the country's capital. 2003-2004, basically I was living a very reckless life. Lifestyle, I must say, yeah. I thought on top of the world, I didn't care what I did, I didn't care who I had, I didn't care about anything. All I cared about was to have as much fun as possible. According to the Advocate for Youth report, 76% of people living with HIV are in sub-Saharan Africa and 64% are between the ages of 18 to 30. Out of the number, 71% of infected are women. But just like Mula Mula Meli, who is part of the theater group, the majority of the youth are scared to test for the virus. When I went for a checkup, they called me in a room. They told me, what do you think about your life? I told them I'm HIV positive. They asked, what? why do you think like this or like that? They told me you're free from that thing. I couldn't believe it. And these are the people that Barbara is reaching out to. She wears HIV branded shirts and jewelry as she does her street acting, urging people to get tested. Stigmatization of infected people is alive and well, and Barbara was not spared. So I went to my dad. <laughs> I told him, you know what, this is what is happening. I'm HIV positive and I'm getting public and, you know. The first question was, did your mother tell you I was your father? <laughs> Yoweri Museveni, the Ugandan president, presented her the Inspiration Women of Uganda Award for the year 2012, among others. And that's our Africa Health Network report for today. For more health news, be sure to visit our website, africahealthnetwork.com.